So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira SRI on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. Which the boot you'll notice that all seven seats are currently in place so this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater let me fold the two rear seats down and show you uh, how much space you get with them out of the way so as you can see with them folded down you get loads of space those three rear seats are what are now rear seats will also fold flat should you need even more space than this okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay so now they're inside the car we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side we have the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle you can see the total miles for this car are 13,176. You can change information displayed above that using a control on the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, first of all on the uh, left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter just here. And on the right hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls including voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired up your phone, and that is done on the touch screen in the center, just here, by then hitting search devices. If we go back uh, to the beginning here, uh, when it comes to audio, you can see we've got AM, FM, and DAB radio, USB input, and Bluetooth audio as well. So once you paired up your phone, you'll obviously be able to make and receive phone calls, but you can also stream your music wirelessly on top of that. Uh, and then you've got uh, something called projection. So certain voxel friendly apps can be projected onto the screen uh, using your smartphone and the USB cable as a connection. Uh, working our way down from there, we have the air conditioning. So you can select the temperature with this dial, fan speed on this one, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or off as it is now, determine where within the car you'd like the air to be distributed. We've also got heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same as you can see on the passenger side there. Underneath this section we have this little cubby hole that opens up. That's got a 12 volt charging socket in it and the USB input that we mentioned a moment ago and then stacks of storage underneath there. We have a six speed manual gearbox. We can turn on or off the parking sensors with this button and this turns off the traction control. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.